Welcome back, everyone. I'm back. I'm back in the studio. Uh, it has been a bit hectic the past month. I've actually had a crazy, crazy, crazy month. But um, basically checking in. So March, I was like, March is going to be the month of school. And it has in one respect. But um, let's just go over, you know, I haven't done a check-in. Um, but I want to do my, you know, my April check-in. Hold on a sec. This is... Turn that light off. Now it just looks normal. Okay. We don't have that glow for the loop pedal. But a couple of check-ins for today. Uh, you know, it's April the 2nd. So this has been, uh, we're jumping in for Road to Virtuoso. has been, we started just end of December was when I, you know, made my call to action to myself and to the world being like, hey, I am going to write a, a hit song. I am going to um, start working really hard on online content creation and doing all that stuff. And today is, well, it happened last night, but today is like the first day. But a huge milestone was hit within just like three months of us doing this. We became partnered by YouTube. So we've hit over 3,000 hours viewed um, and we've gotten over 1,000 subscribers. And it's just absolutely blown my mind at how um, I had a vision for what I wanted to do um, and how it's starting to like, work you know um uh obviously like the you know the add part or like the you know the <laughs> condition for dopamine response version of me is uh very very like it's not working fast enough i need i need more subscribers i i need i need to make money i need to be able to like quit my job as soon as possible but i think uh, when you're in content creation and and um, or just in general, when you start a new job, there's a there's a the, like a, a big thing I hear with entrepreneurs and, and stuff like that is like anytime you swap what vehicle you're in, um, you know, then you're, you're essentially starting at zero. So, you know, I'm not full. I, I am changing completely in like the business side of what I'm trying to do. Uh, but obviously I'm carrying over skill sets. So like when we're looking at what I'm doing, especially because we have a lot of young creators or just like people who are interested in making money through music or like trying to become creators themselves through streaming and things like that. Essentially what I've done is I'm trying to transfer my skill set as a performer. Like I perform weddings, I play bar gigs, do all that stuff. I'm trying to transfer that skill set into a, a vehicle that scales, which is, I feel, online content, um, live streaming, community. Like that's that's where I think I can not only perform and enjoy what I do, but I get to hone my skills in a really healthy environment. Um, there's not a lot of operational drag between setups and pack downs, no operational drag between traveling for gigs and things like that. So it's been really, really good for me to see that this is a possibility. Um, and then on the other side, I've got my other skill set as a teacher um, and through education because I'm qualified from Berkeley and all that stuff. Um, to be able to move that into another vehicle that can be like successful and scale. Um, and so I feel like with the school community, that's that's going to be another cool thing. But basically the check-in for April is that, boom, we got YouTube partner and it's all thanks to everyone's hard work and taking their time to watch the videos, comment on the videos, share to their friends, request content. I, I'm so grateful for it. So thank you so much. Um, I'm only going to push down... Uh, on the gas pedal right now. So this one's a bit of a weird uh, approach to the goal that I'm going to set for myself for April. Um, but we're still going to be focusing on school. Like I want school to be done. There's about 45 to 50 videos that need to be recorded. I think I've recorded eight of them so far. I wanted to record heaps last week because last week was like, I was like, so in my calendar, I was looking at my calendar. I'm like, oh my, oh my fucking God. This week is going to be so good. It's coming in hot. Let's go. I was like, yes, I got like so much time. I don't have gigs. It's a holiday time. It's like, oh my God, I can do so much recording. And then uh, lo and behold, it comes to, to it. And baby girl got a little bit of, got a case of RSV. So she was sick. And then when she was sick, I got sick. And I was rolled for like days in bed. So, you know, that happens. So I think uh, one thing about... Uh, when you're trying to make plans, just always remember that, you know, <laughs> was it like uh, we make plans and God laughs or whatever? <laughs> That's the, That really is what it feels like, honestly. I keep trying and trying and just every like, dumb things just happen. Like 
we were planning everything and then a cyclone hit and just like fucked up our house. <laughs> like it's like January was was a cyclone. Um February was building up like five fucking businesses and then uh and then you know like March I get wrecked for a week and being sick. So you can see I'm still recovering, but you know, but each time we still get to grow and there's like a, a thing about it where it's like, oh, if you're busy, um, it's the perfect time to do stuff and, and challenge yourself and push yourself. And because like, am I planning on not getting busy? No, I'm planning on being more busy than I've ever been, but I just want control over my time. So basically for April, um, my goal is to uh, challenge burnout, which is a bit of a weird thing to say, but um, I find that with myself, uh, my work ethic, uh, it, it's a muscle and, uh, and it, and it improves and I, I kind of push myself pretty fast and I try to find like, what is the thing that makes me feel like I'm burning out and what's not like, and, but, but, but what's actually me growing in my work capacity. So, um, I'm, I'm going to give this a big try. I, I just kind of want to sit down and, um, I'm not going to set like a, like an arbitrary like goal of like, oh, I need to get 45 videos done in a month. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to get one done a day. And if I get more than one done a day, then I will just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And then when I have time, I will like keep editing. Uh, my main goal, like the literal North Star of how I'm approaching this is, okay, what's distraction? Don't do it. And that's it. So whatever my distraction is, just don't do it. Um, do, if I find myself scrolling on Instagram, go back to work. If I find myself wanting to play like, a game on my switch go back you know uh watching youtube video, go back to work like just adjusting uh the ping pong of distraction and then i think that will train the muscle of focus a bit better um because like i can't walk in and be like all right i'm gonna be super focused like that's just i don't know if you guys ever tried it but it just doesn't work it doesn't work for me um so i heard this concept uh from sam ovens the guy who created school and um, he's like the the best way to do to build the muscle of focus because the best way to build the mu muscle of focus he said was uh, just do the opposite. You know, if your goal is to be focused, then what's the opposite of focus? It's distraction. And don't do don't do distraction. Then you're moving closer and closer towards being focused. And that's it. So I'm gonna really uh, try to apply that method. I want to get into my health. I want to get into um, uh, practicing more guitar, um, logistically speaking, uh, the reason why last month was so crazy was I was trying to build my business in, uh, getting private events and weddings and things like that. And I was just like finding it so hard doing what everyone else told me to do. They're like, okay, well you should run advertising campaigns. You should do things like this. This is more for like the business people in music. Um, this is going to be relevant to you. And, um, and one thing I found, like there's four ways to get uh, clients. Um, this is from Hormozzi's uh, Leads Generation book, uh, $100 million Leads. It's a really good book. If you're into like uh, getting customers for any business that you have, read this book. It is just absolutely insane. But I believe it's a warm outreach. So reaching out to people that you know, uh, cold outreach, people that you don't know uh, through content. Um, so that's you creating a piece of content to reach out to many or, uh, you know, advertising. Um, and I was like trying all these different methods and they weren't really working. And then there was something that he said, uh, which was like, these are all the things that you can do to get customers, but just pick one, uh, if you're struggling, because if you try to do all of them, you actually don't have the skills for all of them. So I was like, okay, well I'll just focus on brand. So we've been doing the content for the past three months. And then the dividends of doing the content for the three months is that a lot of people seem to like what I do. And they seem to like what I do. So then they start booking me for weddings and they start booking me for shows. And so it's been like really, really fortunate that, um, that we've had that happen. Um, and I think that might, I, I don't know, I'm not out of the woods yet, but like if I can get out of the woods, then it might open me up to being able to do a second stream per day, which is like what I would like ideally want to do. I want to set up like a morning stream and then an afternoon stream. So the morning stream will be focused around uh, me improving my singing uh, my performance skills and that will be like the mainstream we always do uh, and then I want like this optional time which would then become like a routine which would be like the afternoon stream where I 
you know, get to indulge in my guitar playing. And um, we might sing a song or two, but I would like to like, you know, learn Stairway to Heaven guitar solo or, you know, learn some something that's challenging, like push myself or do an improvisation practice or you guys, whatever you ask me to, to give a go, maybe we can learn songs to sing as well. Like it would be more like a, like a development, like a, a really honing in on the development part and then also open up some time for people who are in the in Europe and and like Middle East and things like that and that so they can see us in a in a more convenient time zone um because I understand my 10 a.m session is not conducive to people being awake at 2 a.m which would suck for you so I am trying to fix it I am definitely trying to fix it for you guys so that's pretty much what's up um April the goal is uh learn how to work um I do work pretty hard but um, I feel like my work capacity hits a like limit at about four hours. I think like I think I can only really do between three. Uh, actually, when I say meaningful work, like like I can get and play a show for twelve hours. Like I can go and play one show, then go play another show, then go play another show in one day. And I've done it before. It's happened many times. I can sit in the car and drive for ten hours, and then show up at a show, play the show finish the show, go to sleep, drive. Like I can do that kind of work. But what I mean by pushing my work ethic, it's um, like y- if you guys have your jobs, you would understand that like we have our operational things, that like things that we do to keep everything floating, you know? So think of it as like a boat, you know? Like we, we want to make sure the boat floats. Um, and so that's what doing all your tasks, tasks for the job are normally you know respond to emails do those different things you know show up to the gig blah 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 set up but the thing that's going to get our boat to move forward to the direction that we want to go is things like wake up early learn songs record content edit content produce the content for other people be available for q a's do like like respond to comments uh engage in your community find out things that are really really important Fix the audio in your stream. Uh, improve the the stream quality. Figure out alerts. Figure out how to set up bots. Like there's just a long list of shit that is really not something I know how to do. And so being able to put myself in an uncomfortable situation and then do those things, that that's what I mean by my work ethic. And I think... I was being generous about four hours, but let's be real. It's probably about like two hours uh, cumulatively that I can put aside to pushing the business, like pushing my business forward. Um, And I look at it as a business. Like, uh, and I think if I can get my brain to be like, yeah, this is going to suck and we can handle it. And I can stretch that to like four hours, five hours, maybe like, six if I can if I can get to six hours of like work per day that just pumps us forward um we would see huge results like I would say by June the difference in our in our community and 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 what I have to offer would be huge so um I think the floor is not that I don't know what to do it's that I don't have the constitution to do the hard work that needs doing in the moment and so that's kind of where my goal is in April. So you guys will see, like, if I am pumping out more and more original content, not content that is being stripped down from the stream, if you're just seeing a lot more of me, you're seeing more streams. If you're seeing a lot more Q&As available, if you're seeing um, a lot more school videos that are being uploaded and then we're seeing people respond and doing really well, um, then that means I am figuring it out and it's going to be very, very cool. Um, it would be a very cool season to see me doing that because we do have a time, like reality is we do have a timer on this. Uh, when we hit August, uh, my second child will be born, which is very, very high. Um, and when that happens, I will 100% be scaling back how much time I put towards my craft and be putting it towards my family because I don't want to miss out. Um, on the first two months of my son being born and being there to support Sarah. So um, so there's a lot of infrastructure that I want to have in place so that I don't have to do much and we can still keep the boat moving. 
So I want to get that all done. I want to have all the systems in place. I want it to be nice and tidy, wrapped up in a bow so that when I come into the studio, I can put in like four or five hours per day and then, um, and then be available for my family. And, but that four or five hours is going to give us so much wealth of, um, uh, content for you guys. And, um, and, and I will improve as a musician each time. So that's, I'm pretty excited for it. So pretty much that's what April to, um, April to end of July, that's, that's our plan. Um, but in April, the single goal is going to be push my work, you know, capacity to see how far we can get it. But anyway, that's just me. Um, it's lovely to see you guys all today and big shout out to our YouTube and our whole community. Um, this Looper X that we've been got, we've had has been absolutely insane. I'll do a video on it pretty soon. And um, yeah, I just want to appreciate you guys and say thank you so much for tuning in on all the streams, looking at all the content, showing uh, all the love to each other. And um, yeah, I can't wait to keep hitting these new little uh, milestones and uh, keep giving more and more um, towards the stream and to the community. I just want to make this happen and um, whatever value I can bring to you guys, always remember, just just ask me. Um, and as we get, as we buy more time, it's going to be just like even better. Like uh, it'll, com it'll compound the, as soon as we can get this like focus down. Um, Cause right now I'm doing so many different jobs uh, between running admin, doing all the blah, blah, editing. All the, as soon as we can like, bring it down and, and narrow my skill set to being like, just get good. Like, that's it. Like if my skill set is like, just get good and, and record content. And we have an editor who like cuts up everything for me and he just gives me the, the, the footage that we're about to post. And I just like, boom, boom, post, boom, post, post, post. All I have to do is respond to comments, create content and then get good. And that's it. And that will be a really deadly place because then, um, then we can do some, Heaps, heaps, heaps of cool stuff. Um, I'm very excited for it. Anyway, it's just, it's crazy that this is happening. Like three months, YouTube partner. I'm like, I thought it was going to take me like a year or two. It's crazy. So thank you guys so much. And um, yeah, I will uh, catch you guys in the next video. But thanks for listening to me rant. And I hope this brings you value. But this is um, me just documenting the journey. And um Hopefully in the future for everyone else who is struggling and trying to get into content creation, this will help you um, get a better understanding of what what this whole mechanism feels like or looks like, or at least be like, what the hell was going on in Luan's brain, you know, like 10 years from now. It'd be pretty crazy to see what we do in 10 years. But, you know, we'll always be able to go back and be like, that was the day. That was the day he became his first YouTube partner. What? So... You know, hopefully uh, it keeps growing. All right, I'm going to turn this off now. I'm going to keep ranting. All right, appreciate you all. Love you all. I will see you guys in the next stream and in the next videos and hopefully more school content available for you guys. So make sure you join school if you want to learn music and please post videos on there and the Q&As are happening now. So 8 a.m., I'm going to get into the studio. I haven't been able to because I'm sick, but 8 a.m., catch me in the studio, hop into Discord. The waiting room is there. Sign in and... Uh, we can have like a free lesson for like 10 minutes or whatever. All right. Appreciate y'all. See you guys soon. Woo-hoo.